Hey YouTube, Line Room, this is Ty again. Welcome you to another action figure review. Now I know this one's a little late for Halloween, but I picked this one up recently. It is a Universal Monsters Jada Toys, The Wolfman, which is part of their six inch figure line. So series one consisted of Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein's Monster, I'll get that right. It's not Frankenstein, but Frankenstein's Monster, Dracula, and the merman or the gillman from creature from the black lagoon so grave two consists of wolfman who is in their six he's a slight bit taller than six because of the hair on him or the top of his hair piece so if i flip around the back of the box wave two is a little bit lackluster in the sense that there's only two creatures been added to it i was hoping they might do another four with a wave of four but Hopefully, we will get more down the line. Now, there is a couple of variations on the Frankenstein's monster. And there's actually a variation on the, the Dracula figure. They managed to get likeness rights for Bella Lugosi. So, they did do a, a exclusive version of the Dracula. Even though the original Dracula figure is kind of loosely based on that Bella Lugosi look. It's not Bella Lugosi himself. The... Frankenstein's Monster Special Edition they did, I think they did it in black and white and they did a colour version, actually no, it's black and white it's a special edition of it with the reanimation chamber basically, so it has the bed that he's strapped to when you first see him and it kind of it has like all the, you know, the electrodes and diodes and stuff like that, that it's like a diorama scene that uh, comes with his bed, uh, it's the same figure, base figure, just done in that black so the other figure in wave two, I can just show it this way, because it's hard to see it that way. So you have Wolfman, who I will be having a look at, and the Invisible Man. Now, Invisible Man has never been really been a big Universal Monster movie fan for myself. It wouldn't be something I'd be hugely familiar with. Um, I know there's been a several iterations of the Invisible Man films, and there's even been the Invisible Woman films. Um, but overall, it was never a big kind of horror movie kind of thing for me. But I probably I have picked him up. I just haven't gotten around to getting him shipped. I got this guy from eBay from a seller in Australia because he was actually available at the time. And the other ones I had pre-ordered on Big Bad Toys Store were still saying that they weren't due for a good while. So I picked this one up, hoping that it would arrive before Halloween. But unfortunately, it didn't. So... Here he is in all his Wolfman glory. So overall, he's a pretty pretty good figure. He has a lot of articulation points. Now the head I have on him at the moment is actually his alternate head. He comes with the kind of standard non-snarling Wolfman head as a standard or his base head. So if I pop that off, it's on a ball peg. So his neck is actually jointed as well. When his head is on a ball peg at the base of the head, it just pops into place, just snaps into place and you can rotate the head it's pretty good he comes with kind of clawing hands so he comes with two kind of clawing hands which are pretty sweet he comes with a, another set of kind of grasp hands one of which is for his accessory he comes with this cane which is based on i think it's the is it the family crest cane or something like that if i remember correctly they used a very similar cane in the Guillermo del, not Guillermo del Toro, the Benicio del Toro film with Anthony Hopkins. He had a kind of, I think it was his father, had a very similar looking cane. Uh, so it's, there's something with the history of the cane in this film. Um, I've never seen the original Wolfman film, which I think I said in the NECA version of this bigger review. In fact, as I'm mentioning the NECA one, he doesn't come with any uh, Lon Chaney, non-wolf parts. He's all predominantly Wolfman. His feet have the wolf feet. In fact, if I just get to zoo, kind of look at them. Bear with me a moment. So you can see the feet are done in that kind of... He has kind of fairly gnarly claws on his toes. He does have peg holes on his feet, but there's no base for him. Um, his articulation is pretty good. But before we get into that, he does come with one other accessory, which is 
pretty similar to the McFarlane one. It comes with a bear trap. Now again, I'm pretty sure the bear trap must play a significant role in the movie. I haven't seen the movie, so I'm not sure how it works out. I'm assuming he's out hunting at night when he's a werewolf and he ends up getting caught in the bear trap or someone's running away from them and they get caught in a bear trap. I don't know which. Again, as I said, I've not seen, seen the movie. So his articulation points are quite nice. His arms can rotate all the way around, can hinge out, has a bicep swivel, has dual jointed elbows. So you can get a good range on those. And they are ratcheted. His hands can rotate and have hinges. He has double joints in the chest. So he has an upper diaphragm joint and a waist joint. Which is quite nice so you can get that kind of hunched over look that he kind of has in some of the posters or you can have him kind of i'm not sure if he does all the, the all fours thing but you can have him kind of crawling on all fours almost uh his legs have a bit of range they can go to the side that much kick forward they do get a little stiff when they're getting forward that much nothing kind of back thigh swivel dual jointed knees so you can kick his own butt and his feet have boot cut, or I'm not sure you wouldn't call it a boot cut because he doesn't have a boot, but it's just below the jeans or the, the trousers, there's a rotation. And then his ankles have rocker ankles and a hinge for them back. So he's quite articulated. He can get some quite menacing looking poses. You can kind of get him hunched over and looking to the side a bit. Like he looks really, really good. And I didn't think, I didn't know how much I would enjoy this figure once I got him in hand. Because again, I've never really seen the Wolfman movie. So I don't know much about the the lore or the character itself. Other than he's a werewolf. Um, but he looks pretty cool. And just for another Jada Toys monster movie character. I have my Drac or vampire or Dracula. So I can bring him in so you can see him side by side. Now he's crunched over at the moment. So if I stand him back up to his normal kind of height. He should stand just around the same height as the vampire Dracula. So you can see they do stand fairly close together. In fact, if I just bring my tape measure in. Right in behind him. You can see Dracula is around six and Wolfman is just around six. So... They do make really good figures, especially if you're doing like diorama crossover stuff. So if you have things like the Fortnite figures, they'll look pretty good with them. Power Ranger figures, they'll look pretty good with them. Uh, I was going to say the Ghostbuster figures, but I don't have one handy, I do, don't think. Uh, the Plasma Series Ghostbuster figures should look pretty good with them. Uh, I know the old original Kenner line had a bunch of universal monsters as part of their kind of Fright Features line. So you had like a vampire as part of Fright Features, Frankenstein's monster as a Fright Feature, and the Wolfman was actually one of the Fright Feature figures. So if you have a Plasma Series figure, uh, the original Plasma Series um, Ghostbusters, not the Afterlife ones, but the, the first ones of the, like the main four Ghostbusters, you could probably do a kind of mashup between them. Kind of a more realistic style version of the Kenner figures, if that makes sense. Um, do I have anything else? I do have the Death Watch Trooper from Star Wars. So they all look pretty cool in 6 inch scale. They look pretty cool on the shelf together if you have all the Universal Monsters figures as well. Um, the only one I'm missing from Wave 1 is the Bride of Frankenstein. I never really picked her up because, again, just like with the Wolfman, I've never really seen the Bride of Frankenstein movie. Actually... I did watch it once and it wasn't something I was like hugely, I wouldn't say he was hugely impressed with it, but it was just something I never really enjoyed compared to the original Frankenstein and it was only more recently I watched it so it, it wasn't, wouldn't be something I would have grown up with and then like as I said the, the Invisible Man is another kind of film franchise I've never really seen. Oh and just for another size comparison we'll bring in Armored Spider-Man just show him behind him so you can see the scale as well so overall really good figures they should be popping up at the time of this recording they should be popping up at your kind of local comics book stores i would imagine you can should be able to find them on amazon as well and big bad toy store had pre-orders for the second wave i'm not sure if they still have the first wave stuff in stock still 
but if you are a fan of Universal Monsters and you want a slightly smaller scale um, figure compared to the NECA, I know the NECA ones are fantastic. There's like the Mummy, there's Dracula, there's the Wolfman, which I did a review of, and there's Frankenstein. There's all the same kind of monsters, just in the 7 inch scale, but if you want something more akin to 6 inch scale that you want to work with kind of other figure lines if you're doing dioramas, these guys are pretty good as well. So do check them out. Um, I'll I try and put links to Jada Toys in the description for this video as well, so, so you can check out the other stuff that they do. But overall, it's a really cool um, figure, and I do enjoy the their attempt at doing figures. And one other thing to note, just before I go, um, Jada Toys did recently announce that they're doing a six-inch scale Street Fighter line, uh, with the first figures being, I think, Ryu and... Was Bison in the first wave? I think he might be. There, there was a good few figures from, uh, announced. They haven't put up any pre-orders yet for them, but they're if they're akin to what these guys are. I'll probably pick them up as well because they actually are quite good and they're quite nicely, solidly constructed. They don't feel cheap or brittle or anything like that. So there is that. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video review. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers, guys.